New research from the University of New South Wales and the Australian National University suggests you might be able to reduce your chances of developing brain disorders like Alzheimer's and dementia by following a special diet. Researchers introduced the MIND diet to over a thousand people aged over 60 for a number of years with some positive results. Professor Karen Anstey is the director of the UNSW Aging Futures Institute and she led the study team. She joins us now in the studio. Thanks for coming in this morning. Mm -hmm. How exactly did you carry out this study? So the study is called The Path Through Life and it's based on a cohort um, in Canberra and Queanbeyan. And we had 1,220 um, older adults aged 60 to 64 and we assessed them uh, once we asked them to complete the CSIRO food frequency questionnaire and we looked at their cognitive function, their health and lifestyle and then we followed them for 12 years. And over that time 140 people developed cognitive impairment or dementia. So then we, will be able, we were able to track back and see what uh, dietary pattern predicted um, or protected people from developing cognitive impairment or dementia. So it wasn't a question of putting people on a different diet, it was just yes. recognising what they were ordinarily eating. And yes. how, were, how were those people selected? Were they selected to have a propensity towards, uh, towards dementia or no? No, these are people who were selected randomly from the electoral roll. So the average person in the street is in the study. All right. What worked? What didn't? So it's really interesting. So we coded up the diet according to the Mediterranean dietary pattern, which is thought to be neuroprotective, but we actually haven't found it protective previously in this study. Um, and then we also coded it up against the MIND diet criteria. So the MIND diet was developed in the United States, and it's a combination of the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet. The DASH diet is the dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Um, so it's similar to the Mediterranean, but it emphasises berries and eating green leafy vegetables every day. Um, and that dietary pattern was protective. And people that adhered to that pattern strictly had about a 50% reduced risk of developing cognitive impairment or dementia over the 12 years. And why is that? What's the science behind those particular foods making a difference? So the diet looks at both brain healthy foods and brain unhealthy foods. So you have to look at both sides of the equation. So it's also looking at the foods you don't eat. Um, but basically it focuses on the, the foods that have been shown to be neuroprotective in animal studies um, that are high in antioxidants and have a lot of um, phytochemicals that are thought to be neuroprotective. Is there any, uh, are you able to do an analysis of what's causation and what's just correlation? Because yeah. it's possible that people who eat lots of berries and lots of leafy green vegetables also go yeah. jogging every day and that's the reason they don't yes. get dementia. Yes, and so, well, in a cohort study like that, it's, it, we can't do, it's not a randomised controlled trial, so it's an observational study. We did adjust statistically for uh, physical activity, for cardiovascular risk factors, even the main genetic factor for Alzheimer's disease was adjusted for. We adjusted for socioeconomic status, education, mm. cognitive engagement, so just about everything you can think of, and the effect remained after all of that adjustment. Um, I believe there may be some randomised controlled trials underway at the moment um, overseas to see if this, this diet um, also proves effective in a trial and that's where you'd start to get towards causation. And you said you also looked at foods that would be particularly unhelpful for brains. Yeah. What were those foods? So according to the MIND diet, there's five unhealthy foods um, and, and so you can only consume low amounts of these. They include red meats, butter and stick margarine, cheese, pastries and sweets and fried or fast foods. Oh. <laughs> All the good things. Yeah. Everything you might want to yeah. eat. Um, so what are the big, in terms of when we talk about a Mediterranean diet, uh, what specifically yeah. is it about a Mediterranean diet that we're talking about? Is it fish? Is it fatty oils that are in yeah. fish? Uh, so the Mediterranean diet's a cultural diet. It's based on um, lots of fruit and vegetables, high levels of fish consumption, cooking in olive oil. So the MIND diet also uh, promotes olive oil um, and uh, a glass of wine uh, with a meal. What's the next step in this field? Is enough research being done in this particular area and where would you like to see it go from now? So it's, it's an area that's sort of in progress. So we don't have enough scientific data to make very firm prescriptions yet about diet. I mean, this is, this is the best we have so far. We need to do continued research on, on animal models, on um, cohort studies in the lab, at all levels and bring all of that science together to get much more specific understanding of the specific nutrients and quantities that are needed and the, the type of dietary pattern that's most protective. 
it seems that every time we look at almost any study, it comes back with fairly similar results, doesn't mm. it, in that respect? Don't eat a tonne yeah. of sugar, don't eat a tonne of saturated fat, don't eat yes. a tonne of processed meats, yeah. and uh, try yeah. to eat natural foods and leafy yeah. vegetables and, and some exercise. berries. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And exercise a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thanks so, thanks so <laughs> thanks much for telling us yet again what we Thank should you. be doing. <laughs> good to talk to you.